begin work on rescuing a handsome orange male kitty cat. Uh, the property here has changed hands. Now I have no personal knowledge of this. This is just what I heard. Uh, that the owners came Friday night, a week ago, last night, and said we've come to inspect the apartment. And the tenant said, no, we should have 72 hours notice. No, I can inspect any time I want to. You know that isn't true. And when he saw the cat, he says, the cat will have to go. If you don't get rid of the cat, start packing your boxes. Well, the cat's presence was approved by the former owner. Isn't that grandfathered? Even though the lease says no cats? If the former owner graced the presence of the cat, isn't that grandfathered? Well, I heard this last, a week ago last night, Saturday night, and I knew, I heard very, very clearly, my conscience, you have to do two things. You have to get this cat off of this property instantly, or the cat will be safe from somebody who's not good to cats. And I heard the uh, woman, tenant, say, I'm going to take the cat to a shelter. Well, I knew I had to stop that. So therein began my life of 100% devotion to this cat and the logistics of rescuing the cat. With the help of Pat Nichols and the help of Sandy McLean, two of my very closest friends, we won. At 5.15 p.m. Sunday night, a week from today, Pat, uh, Sandy provided a cat carrier, a huge one, nice, big, comfortable one. And Pat Nichols took the cat to her house. And I asked her to keep it until Wednesday when I thought my friend who had, well, 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 well. Look at, this is one of the greatest cats I ever knew. <laughs> Rubs up against your ankles endlessly. Orange with amber eyes. So Pat drove out of the driveway at 5.15 p.m. Sunday night a week ago. And the poor kitty was crying. Oh, he was crying. And he's such a nice kitty. He's orange too, but a deeper orange than this kitty. And he has amber eyes the way this kitty does. He was taken away from his home and his people as a rescue. And he was crying. But he was safe. He was off of this property. And he was safe from the shelter. Well, Monday, I called about 25 people on the phone and 25 people face to face about, would you like to have a nice kitty as your companion? No, no, no. And Monday morning, Pat called me and told me that her connubial joy for many years didn't want a cat. And I was very sorry that I caused that difference between them. And she said, Wednesday has to be it. So that's Tuesday. And then I ran into another problem that people make for cats. Uh, a friend of mine has four cats and this one kitty is stop going to the litter pen. And the reason why, I think, is that there's a, one of the cats persecutes his kitty 
when the kitty goes to the litter pen, and so the kitty gets all scared and frustrated. So I offered to take that cat. My thinking there was that with this lovely great big cage, we could make an outdoor kitty of her, gradually make her an outdoor kitty, and then look for a home for the winter. So those were Tuesday's problems. You want to come up in my lap? Sue Casey thinks you're a wonderful cat. And I told you why I couldn't ask Sue Casey to take the kitty temporarily as a foster home, because she had 29 people in her house on Sunday. They would be leaving on Tuesday, so she had to recover from that before I ever approached her with the request to save this kitty cat. So it comes Wednesday. In the meantime, my friend Tracy Clegg has one of her best friends is Suzanne, and Suzanne is a foster home for Orange Street Cats. I remember Orange Street Cats. They bought a booth. There was nothing in the booth but a person and a flyer. But they bought a booth at the Albany Vegan Network at their Veggie Fest at the Polish Center in Albany. And they brought a booth finding homes for cats. So anyway, Suzanne is a foster home for Orange Street Cats. And this was an orange kitty. And my friend Tracy set it all up. And when she told me about Orange Street Cats, I told Tracy, listen, whether Suzanne fosters this kitty or not, she's getting $100 donation from me this week. So between 20 telephone calls, Tracy to Suzanne, Suzanne to Tracy, Tracy to Glendora, Glendora to uh, Tracy, uh, Tracy to Pat, and Pat to Tracy. By the way, Sandy went away on uh, to Cape Cod camping because Marie, Andrew's sister, came to visit them from Minnesota. And I think Sandy is pretty smart. She takes them away to camp so she won't have to do the housework. Uh, so Wednesday morning at 10.15, Pat came with the orange cat, who was named Mr. Snuggles by one person and was named Flanagan by me. What can I do for you, orange kitty, with three rings on the tip of your tail like a raccoon? And we drove off in Pat's car way down to North Chatham in Columbia County. And we took Flanagan to Suzanne. And I made out, I asked Suzanne to make out the check because I can't see to make them out. And then I signed it for $100. And I told Suzanne, I will pledge another $100 for the second week of September. Just the fact it's to help Orange Street cats. I have one regret. Oh, by the way, he looked up at me from the cage, right into my eyes. And my eyes tried to explain to him that I've got to rescue him from the pound and from bad ownership. One thing I regret it says, Suzanne came out with a cat carrier and tried to pick the kitty up and dump him into the carrier. And the kitty resisted, and he won. And Suzanne really strangled him and took him into the house. Now that all could have been avoided if I had been awake and said, take the kitty in the cage into the house and then open the cage. So I was very happy. And I got home, and my friend Diane Bingham called and said, I found a home for that kitty. My brother-in-law is desperate for a kitty. His kitty died after 15 years. So I gave the brother-in-law the, or I gave 
the information to Diane and she gave it to her brother-in-law. And the brother-in-law was so excited he went down to see the kitty. Well, this did not set well with Orange Tree Cats. And it did not set well with Suzanne, so that was a mistake I made. That is the end of the story, so far as I know. I will call up these people and I will find out if Flanagan is okay. Now, of course, no telephoning got done. I do think the inmail got done, though. I think I was able to do the inmail. And my other friend with a kitty who is too afraid to go to the litter pen because another kitty persecutes her, uh, I said I would take that kitty, and I did this by uh, telephone recorder, and I never heard from her. The reason I had to do that is that she said she was going to put the kitty down. That is a chocolate-covered cyanide for murdering the kitty. I'm going to put the kitty down, or we're going to put the kitty to sleep. Face it, what you're doing. You, the only thing that the kitty has all of its life, and you're going to carry the kitty to a greedy veterinarian and pay him to murder the cat? Face it. Put the kitty down. Put the kitty to sleep. It's out and out murder. And kitties have rights, just the way people do. You can't do that to people and you can't do it to animals. Wednesday I was able to do some telephoning, but I think Thursday was pretty good. He really got into it. I think I did 30. And Friday, I really got after. Friday is a very important telephoning day because people leave their offices on Friday. And you have to get them before they leave. So I got the telephoning up. Why is telephoning so important? It's a ministry. There's people who need a telephone call. There's many people who need telephone calls. They need a joke. They need a hymn. They need somebody to listen to. Them. Thursday. Pat Nichols, Altruist Universal, uh, sent the article to the advertiser about the 59th meeting of the Glendora Vegetarian Club on August 30th. We are having vegetarian bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches, corn on the cob, real tomatoes. Not these supermarket tomatoes that are so round and so rotund and so red, but no flavor. And hard, 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 and rot before they ripen. They are taken away from their mothers too soon. They don't have a time to function as a tomato. They're taken away from their mothers too soon and brought to the supermarket. They make a salad look great, but they're useless. In fact, they're detrimental. And then Pat Nichols sent the Glendora Vegetarian Club notice to the Our Town magazine. It comes out once a month. And also they print Glendora's jokes. And also on the 30th, we're going to have vegan cake and vegan ice cream. You can get vegan cake and vegan ice cream anywhere. Vegan cookies anywhere. Maybe we'll have vegan cookies instead of vegan cake because Pat has to make the vegan cake. And she does it so well. She has a vegan cookbook. She uses vinegar and uh, baking soda, I think, instead of eggs to hold it together. What do you use to hold yourself together? I use the joy book.
I left my very favorite thread knife at the Ridsey's, and Frank Ridsey was, fine, was kind enough to bring it over. So I said, come in a minute while I make out a check to St. Mary's, his church. And then Kayla and Jeff, who live upstairs, have two dogs. And the new owners came to them and told them that the dogs were grandfathered. They're on a month to month. They, they lived out their lease April. They didn't sign a new lease. They went month to month. Well, that means that dot com is grandfather, grandmother. Jesus calls us o'er the tumult of life's wild and restless sea. Day by day his sweet voice soundeth. Saying, Christian, follow me. There we are, folks. You're up to a blank page. We're done. And what is happiness? Happiness is helping others. And what is unhappiness? Selfishness, ego, evil. another hymn that came to my mind to sing to you. What was it? I'm singing it yesterday. Oh Jesus, I have promised. To me, Jesus is helping others. To serve thee to the end. Be thou forever near me. My master and my friend. I shall not fear the battle. Wait a second, we don't have battles. I shall not fear the challenge. If thou art by my side, nor wander from the pathway, if thou will be my guide. Andy, return your phone call. Uh, everything is great here. Hope you're well. Um, but you later. Bye. I didn't make head and in a hair of that one. Did you, Fox? To erase this message, press 7. To send a reply message, press 8. To save it, press 9. Oh. To hear... Message erased. Next message. Hi, Wendora. It's Maxine. It's 7.30 on Saturday. And I love that joke. It's one of my favorite ones about the washing machine. And I did try uh, calling you back earlier when you had originally called, but the line was busy. I just want you to know, it is at the big store that I'm all safe in town. I did go out for uh, dinner, and I am, and I made it back. So thank you for thinking of me. I'm doing okay. I'm just going to take it nice and easy at home. So. I wish you a good evening, and I hope I'm not disturbing you by this uh, call at this time, but I just wanted to let you know everything was okay. All right, honey, take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you, dear neighbor and friend. Erase it. End of message. To erase this message, press 7. Oh. Message erased. Next message. I'm going to our family. The going to say hello. We're back from our travel. Oh, and uh, so I'm Andrew's sister visiting, and uh, I went home for some doctor's appointment, and uh, we had a very nice time. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you, Sandy. And a message. So erase this message, press 7. And send a reply message. Message erased. Next 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 message. Message erased.
message erased. No, I can't see the number two messages. Can't see one. Hello, Mr. This is Esther. Esther Raphael, we had a good long talk. She sings hymns to me. She knows so many. I only own I only own no uh, fifty seven. To erase this message, press seven. This reply message, press eight. Listen to your messages, press one. Oh no. This message. You have pressed an incorrect key. To listen to your messages, press one. Oh put to send a message, press two. To change your personal You have pressed an incorrect key. To listen to your messages, press one. To send a message personal option. To turn message waiting indicator oh. on or off. I did issue her a new check. She had to make it out, though. And you need to sign your I name on the line that is provided for you. Please do. And the date has to be on the line with the date. So you have to be more really. careful. Right? Now it was the wrong check. person. It took it to the wrong person. Um, and so she came by and we did it. And she also got uh, straight talk for me through using my credit card. Any answer. Say that press 